What's up guys, this is Will, Will's Gadgets More, back with another video. So today we're taking a look at a smartwatch. So this smartwatch was sent out to me by a company called High Mank. So a big shout out to them for sending this over for a review. Now you can pick this up on Amazon.com. The price is $34.99. They're also offering an extra 10% off coupon uh, if you go over there today and check it out. Uh, but I'll drop a link in the description if you guys want to pick this up. So this is going to be one of your budget-style uh, smartwatches. So some of the features and details on this, this is going to have a 1.28-inch TFT display. It's going to have a 220 milliamp hour battery. This is going to weigh 38 grams. You're going to get seven days of use out of a charge on this, and this is going to work with iOS and Android. This IP68 waterproof, and you can do things like uh, your daily fitness tracking, this is going to be for men and women. You're going to have 12 sports modes on here, 24-hour uh, heart rate, blood, oxygen, and sleep tracking as well. Uh, you're going to have on-wrist message notifications, and you're going to be also able to control your music with this watch as well. And it also has app support. So those are a few of the features and details. Here's the packaging that it comes in. As you guys see, you get a nice picture of the watch there. And then on the back, some of those uh, features that I've already read off right there. So let's get into the packaging and check it out. So this is my first time working with this company. Uh, but you can get some very nice uh, budget uh, smart watches uh, that'll do everything you need them to do. So let's check this out and see what we got here. Let's get in. So slide it out. So a nice presentation here. Let's get this part open. All right. So here we are. So the first thing you're going to see in the box is the watch. There it is. And let's get this out and see what else is in the packaging. So you're going to have your charging cable, which is going to be one of those magnetic uh, charging ends on here right there and you're going to have USB A on the other end and then also in the packaging you're going to get a pamphlet so you got your pamphlet here let's get this stuff out of the way so you're going to have your user's manual here it's going to tell you everything you need to know about the watch let's get that over to the side and take a look at the watch so here's the watch so straight off the bat uh, does have a little heft to it it's, not very, uh, feels pretty good. Not very light. Uh, they got a sticker here. Let's get that sticker off. And here's the display. Now, like I said, this is a 1.28 inch uh, TFT display. Here's the back of it. So you're going to have your sensors and things on the back of it there. Uh, that's going to track your blood uh, oxygen levels, your sleep patterns and all of that stuff. And you do have just a rubber band here that feels pretty good, uh, very flexible. Uh, you can change these out as well. See the quick disconnect there. And you're only going to have one button here on the side of it. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing started up. And we're going to pair this up and we're going to download the app as well. So uh, here it is. I'm going to get my, my phone and we'll go through a small portion of setting it up. All right, guys, so we're back in. They give you a barcode here to scan, and I have already scanned it with my Google Pixel 6 Pro. Uh, this is the device I'm going to connect this to, and I'm going to go ahead and install the application here. And uh, after I get it set up, then I will come back and talk about it. Okay, guys, so we're back in. Once you scan the barcode, it's going to take you to the Play Store. That is where you're going to download this app. It's called HiFit right there. And uh, you'll have to create a little account or sign in with your Google information. And once you're in, it's pretty simple inf instructions there. This is the app interface right here. A uh, pretty robust app, uh, app here that you can track all kinds of stuff like your steps, your beats per minute, your sleep pattern. Uh, set your weight and how much you want to, you know, if you want to lose weight or whatever, it's all in there. So if you go to my device here 
And in this portion of the app, this is where you're going to find uh, your different watch faces. It only comes with two of them on here, but you guys see it has a wide selection of them. Uh, this is where you can decide if you want to track your heart rate automatically or manually. And this is where you can allow different uh, notifications from all, all sorts of different apps. Uh, you can toggle those on or off. Uh, you're also going to have your do not disturb mode. This is where you can set your time that you want. Your alarm clock. You can set your time for alarm clock. Set a terror remind, reminders. Incoming call notification. Raise uh, your arm to light the stream. Your stream duration. So you can have this 5, 10, or 15 seconds. Uh, your time format, 24-hour or 12-hour. And also your weather is here as well. That's your weather. And uh, once you back out of this, you're going to have your workout stream here where you can see you're running, walking, or biking. And you can set your target goal here. 3,000, 4,000, you know, whatever you want to set there. And on that display, you press go and that'll start your workout. And then the last this uh, screen here in the app is, uh, you know, setting your personal information, uh, background settings, you know, stuff like that. Your personal information here, uh, your settings, unit settings. Uh, out of the box, this comes in set in metric. I set it to British to give us, you know, give me what I need over here. And that is pretty much it as far as the watch app. So pretty robust for a, a budget watch. Uh, not too bad. So let's take a look at the watch now. All right, guys. So here's the watch face that came on it. You guys see, you can see your steps. You can see your date. And you can see that I have burned seven calories since using it. You swipe from the left or the right, you're going to be able to get into your application. So this is going to be your steps, your calories burn, things of that nature. The next one over is going to be your heart rate, your beats per minute, uh, your oxygen level, and stuff like that. This is where you can measure those feet, those things there. And it's, this is uh, your sleep tracking. Of course, I haven't slept with it. Then you got your uh, weather. And then this is where you can take a break if you're in a workout right here. Set a timer for that. You swipe down from the top. This is where you're gonna uh, you can hit this feature, and this will find your phone if your phone is lost. So my phone is buzzing right now. Uh, if I had it on an audible sound, I guess it would audible, and uh, you can cancel that out. Uh, you got your stream brightness here. You're gonna have whether you want this in do not disturb mode, and you're also gonna have your settings here where you can power off, reset. Uh, change of watch faces. Now this only came with two watch faces on board, but you can uh, get more as I showed earlier. And that's that as far as that. And then uh, you do have your uh, regular settings if you swipe up from the bottom uh, here. You can uh, see your notifications. Uh, so notifications will look like this. You guys see I have a notification there. Uh, there's another notification from my man Jay Will that came through. And then Mike uh, on Twitter, those are Twitter notifications. As you guys see, they will have uh, the little uh, logo for Twitter or whatever applications there. And then uh, you got your music player. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up the music player on my phone and start the music. So as you guys see, you can also control... You can also control the volume here as well. You can lower the volume. You can start it playing and you can skip tracks. So that uh, works great right there. I'm going to go ahead and stop this. So a great feature for this little watch. And this is all your other stuff that's on here as well. So uh, let me go ahead and put the watch on my wrist and let you guys see how it look. Okay guys, so here's the watch on my wrist. As you guys see, uh, it's not very big. I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist and it fits very comfortable. The wristband is very nice on here. The race to wake feature works, works great, great as well. 
Uh, so cycling through with it on your wrist is not bad. Let's go ahead and take a measurement here of my pulse and uh, oxygen level and see how that how well that works. Uh, I've tried it. It does take a few seconds before it to uh, complete its measurement, but uh, we'll see how accurate this is as well. Uh, it tells you to be quiet and, all, and don't move, but I'm making a video, so I do have to talk. So it should finish up here in a second. And so I got 100% on my oxygen, and my heart rate is about 71. So that is pretty accurate right there to back out of it. Just simply do that. And uh, so weather and everything. And notifications look great on here as well. Uh, when they come in, they'll just pop up on the display there. Uh, but if you want to check your notification, which I showed earlier, uh, you just go in like this and you can stroll up and down for your notifications. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and finish the video. Okay, guys, so this has been my look at the High Mank Universal Smartwatch, a great budget smartwatch that offers a lot of great features. Also has a very nice app that goes along with it as well. Uh, the link will be in the description down below. I'm Will. This is Will's Gadgets and more. I'm out.